Hey guys, Jake here, or Aussie Reptiles, and today we're doing a little bit different. We're actually unboxing some isopods. So I've got a few nice isopods here. We're going to be setting up some tubs for them, some bins, and basically showing you what we got. Now this is an Australian isopod video. I am in Australia. We don't have all the fancy stuff overseas. There's some really cool ones, but unfortunately we can't keep them here. So we deal with what we can get. And also, here is one of the supplies, Casey's Critters. Go check her out. Link in the description. Anyway, let's get into some unboxings. So we're going to start here with one bunch, which is from, I believe it was the Insectary or, or something like that. Anyway, I'll put up the name. So this is what he calls Party Mix. So I don't recall how many there was supposed to be. They are all buried. But it has some Lavis and there's some Porcelia Scabers. And there is some um, random Armadillium. Um, vulgar there as well. Look, there's a nice caramel one. So I'm going to set up the Lavis in a container. I've also got a couple Lavis already, a white one and so on. And we do have a whole bunch of other Lavis as well. So we'll sort of judge what we got there at the end. I may mix some together. There's some normal Lavis. I'll check the colors out. But uh, yeah, let's uh, start with this one and uh, get it set up. So, so for example, as we sort through them, the, the armadillium vulgars in here, I'll add them in with my colony of vulgars that I've already got. So they're doing quite well, nice numbers, and they're all uh, bearing away, making little tunnels. But yeah, there's a good amount of them in here. And these are my standard greys. I do have another tub, which I can show you in a bit, which I'm calling my gold spots, which are still just random vulgar um, or vulgar, but they've um, got the... Uh, yellow spots coming through which i'll show you anyway let's sort them out and get them in there Alrighty, so i've actually split it i put the white and more caramel like lavis into this container and i'm doing the normal lavis or lavies whatever you want to call it in here so i'll also add in these lavis into this and then the lucky dips will go in a separate one and uh we'll keep the whites as a oh as i said whites and the caramely colors as you can see there and then the whiter ones as their own and we can create more white so that's that pretty cool alrighty so I've just opened up another batch of common gray lavies here they are I've taken out the leaf litter and dispersed it a few amongst there's none here that I feel the need to separate into that container so the rest of these are just gonna go in to our mixed bundle that'll be cool and let's do that there we go all straight down into the substrate i might have to do two containers of them because uh i have another bunch here as well all right i've decided that that's too many so these guys are going to maintain in this container and then we're going to set up another one like we did with our porcelia scaber for the lavis as well so that's them done for now let's move on to our powdery mix so i have a super super basic layout for these guys so here we're about to set up the Lucky Dip, but here's, the, oh, not the Lucky Dip, the powders. Anyway, this is it. So a big clump of sphagnum moss. That's how they're going to maintain their moisture and they can drink from that. I spray that down. Bit of leaf litter, egg crate, and or usually like a nice piece of bark, just like in the Porcelio Scabers there. And that's it. It's super simple. It keeps the trick done, but it's super simple. Anyway, let's get our powdery mix set up. Alrighty, so now we have our powder mix. So these are a different type of Slater, very similar to Skaba, but they actually have a powder-like appearance. So we got 40 of them. We're also going to add them in as well. So these here are our dwarf whites. Now, I don't know if you can see the little guy, but they are tiny. They're not much bigger than... Uh, uh, not isopods. They're not much bigger than springtails, to be completely honest. But because these guys are going to be too hard to sort through, we're just going to tip the soil into its new container. Let's do it. So these are the Porcelio Dilatus. It's supposed to be the giant cave, a uh, giant canyon isopod, but you can see my hand there. They're not giant, but uh, maybe these are just some mankai or some juvenile ones. But this is their setup. There's already a couple in there. And uh, let's add them. Very good. Okay, so here we have the Lucky Dip. These are just Lavis as well. As you can see, there's a bit of a mix in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take out the whiter ones and add them with my white colony so we can get some whites going. The And then the rest um, are going to go in. The greys, I might pick out the greys and add them with the normals. 
but all the uh, caramely coloured ones will stay. So that's going to be pretty cool. We'll separate them now. As I said, I'll take out the real white light ones, add them to my white group. The caramels will go in here, and then the greys will go back in with the normal common greys. So let's get to sorting. <laughs> 